Good morning. The day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's not searing heat. It's not snowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, by faith, I see the white plates. <laughs> we don't necessarily need faith for that. That's right. You won't be wrong. I want to share from Revelation um, chapter 2, uh, verse 7. And uh, continuing with our uh, series on what does it mean to be a Christian. Um, and in Revelation 2, 7, it says, He that has an ear, let him, let him hear what the Spirit would say to the church. I want to I want to de demystify a, a truth that the Scripture uh, gives to us. What does it mean to be a Christian? And in Ephesians chapter four, verse eleven, is the it, Paul describes the fivefold gifts: the teacher, the pastor, the evangelist, the prophet, and the and the apostle. God has called His people to be a prophetic people. And sometimes when we think about Old Testament prophets, we kind of, we kind of, our brain goes tilt sometimes because we have a picture of a prophet from the Old Testament in rags and clothes, going through town and proclaiming warnings, you know, and, and just being kind of out there. The end is near. God has called His people to be a prophetic people. And in the Old Testament, a prophet's job wasn't just to foretell or to tell a future event. That's another aspect that sometimes we like, okay, how does that exactly work? But primarily, a prophet's job in the Old Testament was to proclaim, was to preach, was to speak about God and beckon God's people to return to him. They were the ones that spoke for God. And God's Holy Spirit settled upon them at certain times when the Spirit God inspired the Spirit to inspire those prophets to speak. And they spoke with inspiration. We have that same Holy Spirit. It doesn't come upon us, but it abides within us as believers. Amen? It abides within us and it inspires us to speak and to proclaim God's word. Much the same way that the prophets of the Old Testament proclaim the word of God. Return to God. The path that you're going down only leads to tears. Only leads to brokenness. Because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That should be the words that we proclaim to those around us. God has given to us a prophetic spirit. Amen. And that prophetic spirit simply means, and this is the part that I want to demystify for you, because what does it mean to be prophetic? It simply means to speak the heart and the mind of God. <coughs> Speaking the heart and mind of God. Speaking it clearly, speaking it plainly, and speaking it boldly. And before we can ever proclaim the Word of God, the heart and mind of God, we first need to know what that heart and mind of God is for ourselves. What, how does God feel about me? Am I in that place where I can speak God's Word? And even if there is a continue, all of us are in a continuous process of being made into the image of Christ. And that's work of what the Bible calls sanctification. It's a process of being made whole. Being formed as much the same process as the potter forms the clay. Sometimes there are lumps. Sometimes there are bumps. Sometimes the, the clay, the soft, moldable clay, needs to be crushed down. And the process needs to be started over again. God has called us to be a prophetic people. 
to speak God's heart and God's mind to the body of Christ, to other believers, because He has called us to be a body ministry. Because this is just not about pastor. It's not about myself. It's not about that those that hold some type of office. True. But it's about God's people reaching out and lifting. Because we're, we're not all on the mountaintop at the same point. And we're not all in the valley at the same point. So those that are in the, on the mountain, reach down to those that are in the valley. To those that are struggling and hurting. Lift them up. Lift them up. God has called us to be a prophetic people. To speak His heart and His mind to those that are hurting. 